adult film actress, Ashley. <laughs> and I was also on my period. It was like a massacre. <gasps> oh my oh, God, like what? And Jack's like fake scene. Don't do this oh. to me. Jack fake scene, <laughs> yeah. This is your daily catch me Halloween. What in the world? Do you like horror? Yes, right. Have you heard of the House of Horrors Film Festival? Oh, you mean the only Asian-centric horror festival that has a curation of horror films from Japan, Korea, India, Indonesia, Thailand, and Malaysia? Yes, exactly. And they also have a spine-chilling horror house experience called The Realm. Ooh, sounds terrifying. Where is this festival? It's at Cine Leisure, so you can head to Level 5 to watch the films at Projector X, and then head to level one for the haunted house. I heard the Red Festival runs from October 25th onwards. Yes, that's right. So, buy your tickets now. Links in the description below. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Many of you have complimented us for our range of guests. We've had the President of Singapore, we have countless ministers. We've also had international celebrities from Jessica Jung to Michael Owen and Gary Neville, as well as our beloved local stars. Today, that trend continues because we have our f- Porn star in the <laughs> house, <laughs> starring in over eighty films in the last two years alone. Despite being only twenty-seven years of age, please welcome to the show, adult film actress Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to, welcome to Singapore and welcome to the Daily Catch Up. Wow. <laughs> so I kind of navigated that by calling you like a adult film actress. But how would you describe yourself? How would you normally introduce yourself? I would say I am an adult film actress okay. because some people will say a porn star, but yeah. that makes me feel like because I'm a humble person, so like. <laughs> You call me a star. Oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. so, yeah. It's more wordy to say adult film actress, but okay. I'm yeah, more yeah. comfortable with that title right. than a porn star. So we do want to spend a bit of time talking about your career as well as your personal life, mm-hmm. but we have so many questions about porn. So many. Of course. And thankfully we have our resident porn enthusiast here with us, Jared. <laughs> um, I thought all of you. No? <laughs> Mostly me, but. Uh, okay. So okay. please, please take it away. All right. I so John Paul asked me to come up with a list of questions mm-hmm. and I never came up with a question list this fast. <laughs> and I don't think we can get through all to be honest, but I'm just going to start with the most basic one. Sure. For each video, right? Mm-hmm. How long does it typically take to like film that entire thing? Oh, that's your first question. Yeah, okay. I'm starting easy. Okay? Okay. okay. The shortest one I've ever done, the shortest production was like three hours and then oh. we're done. Oh. Yeah. So oh. it really depends on honestly highly how well the guy does. Because oh. the girls, we can do all the acting, right? True. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but for guys, it's really more dependent on their like physiology. So uh, is it like so stamina? How long they can yeah, last? Yeah. So if they're okay in that department, then we can get done with the shooting right. really ah. fast. Okay. Which leads me to my next question: <laughs> Is like I've always had this belief that uh, male porn actors. Yeah. Uh, they are not chosen for their looks. They're actually chosen for their stamina. You're and, right. And like, oh. so how do they audition for that? <laughs> um, we, so a lot of, actually a lot of actors, they start off being not like the main character, the main guy. So they have like, okay guys who come on set and they have come on set. <laughs> it's like half half a scene for okay. them do you know what I'm talking about yeah. I don't know yeah, yeah, yeah. Like gang bang guy be. number four right exactly oh. Oh. So to see if you can still get hard in that environment okay. if you can then maybe they like let you take on a bigger role like the next time the so it's like an right. internship oh. if you okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. so they start off as like you know a jerk himself off or right. whatever so, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, or a blowjob guy oh. so it's just a bonus that like the ones that probably are more famous are it's a bonus that they have stamina and they look attractive. Yeah, because it depends on the characters as well. Sometimes the character requires you to not be look, to not be good looking. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess it's more more relatable. Yeah, you you, you want the audience to be able to put themselves (laughs) in the person's shoes. Yeah, it's like a model, like, you know, Leonardo DiCaprio. It's a difference between James Dean and Johnny Sins. For example, wow. Johnny Sins feels like a more everyday. No, not really. You know what it does. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. Right. Sometimes you want some somebody who looks like a homeless person or somebody who looks like, <laughs> okay. you know, a, a nerd or somebody uh, who looks like a creep. Yeah. yeah. So oh. there are all of these scenarios. <laughs> I would feel so bad if I was, hey, you got the part. Who are you? You're yeah, the homeless okay. person. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever like chosen a job because like you've read the script? Like how important is the script and the storyline? Um, Usually I can get a sign 
sense of what the storyline is going to be like based on who the director is. Oh, so before, yes, I, yeah, okay. before I actually get the script, I'm usually told first who the director is. Mm. Then I'm like, okay, this person is going to do a shoot based on some type of erotic novel. And that's always oh. the case. So, yeah. so certain directors will draw inspiration from certain sources. A lot of productions I've done are more commercial. So yeah. we need, you know, do ad placements for, you know, a certain gaming or gambling companies. Um, then right. those would be more stereotypical plot lines. Mm, Not mm -hmm. something to be super excited about really, yeah. but mm -hmm. if it's something based on like, there's a director that I work with, he always does productions based on erotic novels. And those are the most interesting ones. Also the hardest right. ones, cause the shooting goes from like 7 a.m. to like, 1 a.m. But there's a full oh. on storyline yeah, before. Full on like, storyline. The actual acting time is way, way longer than like the sex scenes. What, 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 <laughs> and what does that look like? Like how, how many hours for the sex scenes? Like the sex scenes will take like two hours and then the rest of the time is all just like dialogue and conversation. Yeah. Oh. And for his, his productions, there's mm. so many lines to remember. So we call him like, <laughs> Like the tough, the, he's like the toughest director. <laughs> the to Steven work. Spielberg yeah. of yeah. porn. And what does yeah. the final output look like for that film? Is it like a two hour? You have to check it out. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the, the output is usually uh, two hours and maybe they'll split it into like four episodes yeah. of uh. like, oh one hour or um, two episodes of two hours. So it's okay. like film okay. length. So what should we watch first? <laughs> what should you watch first? Yeah. Yeah, of your um, body of work. <laughs> of my body of work? Okay. Like you're most proud of this that you are like. Someone. Well, uh, I have a lot of <laughs> content that I put on swag. So oh. those are the ones I shoot myself. I would recommend you starting from there because ah. I think those are the ones that represent me the best. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm not mm -hmm. trying to be a certain character in those. Uh, films so um, it's just yourself oh, it's just okay. so get to know you get first, to know me <laughs> then first explore the body then you work. can see me and other characters i'm, I'm okay. guessing that the goal is views right for those that are like more complicated more complex like the, the the one you just mentioned with the scripts do those actually perform better those actually sell really well so the high wow. cost productions are the always the best selling ones right. usually oh. Okay. Yeah, and they do like film parodies as well. There was like a film in Taiwan called uh, Zhou Chu Chu Shanghai. I don't know if you've heard of it. I'm like it's like <laughs> Uh, is it Xiao Xing Yin parody? Yeah, it's not, it's like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. Uh, I'm not sure because there are a ton of parodies out there. They're like parodies, like One Piece parodies. Oh! Like Harry wow. Potter parodies. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. he's like his dick or something. Or no. it's like a magic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Wingardium Leviosa! Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. These parodies are damn funny. I remember like seeing one right, that was um, shaving Ryan's privates. <laughs> oh, like the oh. 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 It's like saving pri private Ryan. Yeah. Yeah. So what parodies have you been in? Have you been in any? Actually not parodies. All I've done like it's the, the most serious, serious, the serious, serious right. yeah, the serious production. I don't know why I always get cast in like <laughs> the yeah. serious roles. Um, Cause I don't look like an anime character, I guess. Um, mm. But there are okay. like other actors and actresses, they look, they actually look like real life anime characters. So they get cast Aww. in like parodies mm. more. So in terms of the production, like I think for like Hollywood films, you always see like, they always do like script reads, table reads and stuff like that. For like <laughs> adult film, is there a session like that? Or do you just go straight into like set? Most of the time we go straight in, but for large productions, there are wardrobe fittings. So when we go for wardrobe fittings, the director will talk to you about what they think the character is like, what mm. you think the character is, is like. And then most of the time we do it on the day. So like on set, we'll do a couple different takes of different feels, mm -hmm. um, very similar to I guess like mainstream acting. Yeah, it's not too different from yeah, it's like not, So a... the table reads, we do table reads on set. Mm. Okay. So like before we actually shoot the scene, if there's lots of people in the scene, then we do a table read. Mm. But usually, most of the time it's like three people, two people. Okay. Okay. Do, you, do you practice the positions? <laughs> yes, we do rehearsals. Like, it's hilarious oh. because oh. the crew are not allowed to touch the actors. Okay. So okay. when Fair. they're doing out the acting part, like uh -huh. what the director, when the director tells you, what positions to uh -huh. be in, the cameramen have to act it out first. Oh! So we actually look at like a bunch of guys like acting it out on each other and they would be really into oh. it. As Your well. job is so easy. <laughs> <laughs> They'll like make all the noises and oh like do like, like, does this feel good? Like add in their own lines. And then we're just there. Like that's our entertainment ah. for, for the day. Nice. So we'll watch like the directors and the cameramen act it out first. And then we'll, and then we'll do it 
one more time just like memorize oh, yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. Muscle okay. memory. Yeah. And then uh -huh. Yeah, because you need to do the blocking and yeah, the framing. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. yeah, because when we do it, they have to look at where the light yeah, yeah, is, yeah. like what angles to be in, mm. like if my face is in the right direction, um, all of those. Yeah, things. I'm actually very curious about the chemistry with your co-stars mm -hmm. or if like when you go on set and you meet someone who you haven't worked with before, mm -hmm. like what are the kind of discussions you have in terms of uh, preparing for a scene? Uh, we always ask each other if there are like certain limits or boundaries. If it's somebody I haven't worked with, I'll say, okay, in this scene, this is what I'll do, or this is what I'll say. Especially if there's like certain scenes, if it's like BDSM, mm. where I have to like humiliate them or they have to humiliate me or they have to like slap me or like whatever, more physical, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, then we make sure the other person is okay with it first. In your career so far, have there been any conflicts with like your or disagreements between uh, co-stars? Luckily so far, no. So everything, any disagreement, <laughs> agreements are worked out on set right away. Mm. So, um, but sometimes I do get like uh, first time actors who say like, yeah, they're okay, they're okay with this, they're okay with this. <laughs> but like when the camera's actually rolling, they can't do anything. They're just like super nervous and frozen. Uh. And that's when I get a little bit annoyed because uh. we do ask you beforehand if we can do this. Yeah. And then if we you like what? freeze what is up. This? Um, so <laughs> if they have to like choke me, for example, okay. Okay. or they have to like pull my hair. So certain, certain, uh, scenes will require them to be, the guy to be more active or to be more physical. Right. I can't be like, pull my hair, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that doesn't work. So um, <laughs> they have to be the one who takes initiative. And if right. they said, yes, I can do this, mm -hmm. but they can't when the camera's rolling, then if I get it. Right, right. right. Like, but you said you can't. <laughs> so yeah. The actors and actresses are very valuable assets to the company. Right. So they're highly protected. It's right. not like if, right. if, we had like a male co-star who tries to, you know, be like, oh, I think you're super sexy. Can we hang out after? Or like right. any of that sort of harassment or pestering, like you can let the company know and they'll deal oh. with it. Oh, so right, you right, don't right. have to worry about any kind it's of- HR policies purely. in place. Yeah, yeah. HR, they have like really, <laughs> before, romance, before I went on set, they had like all these rules that like you, you cannot do this, you cannot say this, you cannot ask about this, like to other people. So right. it's, the environment is kept. Uh, very professional. Right. So I felt like if I wanted to explore this part of myself, my sexuality, then actually being in the industry is a very safe way. Right. Yeah. It makes sense. Eh? Cause like, let's say if you want to try a gangbang, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's so scary. Yeah. It's like you're the you only have, girl. You, yeah, and yeah. then everybody is like, uh, you yeah. don't know what will happen You're like you. a prey, right? Yeah. So you, you, can't, uh, you can't know what's going to happen. Yeah. But if you're mm. in, like you're on set, then everything is sort of pre-planned. So you can sort of rely on that before you kind of actually go out. It's on like safe rope. Yeah, you're living out your yeah. fantasies, you know, but and you can pay for it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Is there yeah. sexual tension? Like, you know, when you're preparing for mm -hmm. the scene, do you like try to get yourself in the mood? Like, oh, really? I think when I first started out, yes. I definitely like be like, I'm, I'm charged up by the excitement, also mm. the nervousness, but after two years in the industry, now it's completely professional to me. Like, okay. It's like, I can go in, I know what I'm gonna do. There's very few people who can still do things like that I don't expect. Okay. Mm. I mean, oh. Usually, actually, those are the people who I worked with the most because they know mm. what I would not expect, if you know what I mean. Okay. Like, they okay. know me so well, they know right. what I'm expecting and what I'm not expecting. So if they do something that's I'm not expecting, then I'm like, whoa. This is exciting. Right. Yeah. Mm. So then like, because there is most likely a script and you mentioned like with directors, there's certain mm -hmm. ways that they want to do certain things. When it comes to the actual sex, how much freedom do you and your co-star have? Or is that a, very much the director's vision as well? Uh, it depends on the director. So okay. a lot of, sometimes the directors will say, we want you to get through all these positions mm. and the order doesn't matter. So it's oh, like, oh, okay. you know, it's like a Free challenge. Flow. It's a okay. game for you. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's Check the fun. box. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> some directors prefer this because they think it's more natural. Mm. But some directors will have a very strict routine. It's like a stunt. Like we you got have to- blow job yeah. first and you have to get missionary. Do, yeah, exactly. Okay. You have to, and the missionary, the legs should be like this or the legs should be closed. Like ah. it's, it's very specific what they want. Like the exact scene they want to capture or the picture that they want in mm -hmm. their head. You were talking about how you've been doing this for two years and you're kind of used to how everything is already. And the way you speak, it's like, it sounds very almost sterile, like the whole process. Mm -hmm. So I'm just wondering and break the illusion of porn for me. Huh? It's like, <laughs> is there any element of like- you know, Do they orgasm? Pleasure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Is it pleasurable? For me, 
personally, I have not orgasmed on set before. Oh. So like all the, unless, unless you look at the ones I filmed myself, then yes, I have. But if it's like huh. an official production, <laughs> right. then I have not. But oh. any feelings at all? Like, is it even yeah, like- Yeah, it does feel good. Like, it does feel, it does feel good. good. Okay. But do, not enough that, <laughs> that if we just work, because it's very distracting. There's like people pointing oh, at the camera true. in your face. Like, so it's, it's very distracting. It's really hard to focus just on the other person mm. and be in the moment. Because mm. you're thinking like, okay, what, what am I, what position do I need to get into next? Or like, what line do I need to say right now? Right. Oh. So right. it's a little bit distracting for me. And um, I know there are other people who have had like genuine orgasms on set, but those are usually for, you know, really small productions where you don't have to say anything. Mm -hmm. More or, intimate. Kind yeah, of. more intimate. Mm -hmm. Or even like some porn stars, they do it with their boyfriends. Mm. Oh, so like there were a couple. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. um actually a lot of couples also like fight because of this on set. <laughs> oh. Like if like sometimes like if the guy cannot get hard on set, the girl will get really mad. Oh, yeah. Like no. it's tough. It's, 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 like, it's, it's me. How can you not do it? There's yeah, like yeah, four yeah. people around me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I've like witnessed thing. these fights a lot. And she's like, oh, okay, no. they're not never shooting again. <laughs> like they're never <laughs> you, you'll not see them come back on set ever again. It's like I can I can tell from like the way they're talking talking, okay. fighting with each other. Right. But has like doing like adult films change your, the way that you enjoy sex on a casual basis? Not at all. Okay. I think actually it's made me enjoy it more hmm. because it's, I can, I can separate the leisure from like the work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also I feel like before I joined the industry, I did a lot of acting anyway oh, for the guy's okay. benefit, right? And it feels good when it does. I feel like most girls do a lot of acting. Yeah. Probably yeah. anyway. Like, okay, guys will not want to admit this. But, yeah, I know. But in real life, probably yeah. they do a lot of mm. acting yeah. for your benefit. Because it's not like True. it's not like. You're, it's not. <laughs> like you don't do it. You can't be that good. Yeah. Yeah. So we don't do it because we think you're bad at it. It's just like yeah. we want to continue the atmosphere. Of yeah. It's the entire act seen yeah. as like you just yeah. want to yeah. complete that. Like we want to make you more excited yeah. to make us more excited. It's actually mm. out of love. Yeah. Yeah. So mm. think of it that way. If any it's of not pity. Offended. It's love. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> So 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 then when do you decide to monetize? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, now in private, I don't feel the obligation to act that much anymore. So right, it's right, actually right. more enjoyable for oh, me. Because okay. in the past, I would feel like I have an obligation to make the other guy feel good mm. about themselves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but but yeah. now I feel like I can actually focus on enjoying the moment a lot more mm -hmm. in private. Before you entered the industry, right? Do you have like inkling like, oh, I'm good at sex. That's um, why you wanted to join. Not, not that I feel like I'm good at sex, but mm. I feel like I want to get better at sex. Oh, so I want to know. Improve. I want to know like how to be really sexual or like seductive right. to men. So um, I have an inkling that I can be really good at this, especially in front of camera. Because right. I think in private, a lot of people record themselves anyway. Mm. That's why I get so many sex tape leaks. But um, <laughs> so like I think people do enjoy being recorded on a certain level. Mm. It's just whether that recording is shown to like anybody or right. just people right. you know, right? So I'm interested to see like what this would look like on a professional level. Oh. Mm. So if you could give the ladies out there one <laughs> tip mm. to be better at sex, mm. what would it be? I think confidence is the most important thing. So mm. like you have to believe that you're super sexy and like act like you're super sexy. So even if you're not a porn star, you should act like you're a porn star in the bedroom. Oh. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm-mm-mm. Means like, a lot. <laughs> yeah. I uh, you can thank me later. <laughs> <laughs> Is there like a natural progression for, for female actresses? Yeah. Not a natural progression, because some girls, they like, they'll come in and be like, I want gangbang right away. Like, oh my God, like, <laughs> they're like, during their audition, they're like, they'll ask you, what is something you're excited to try or you really want to try? And it's like, gangbang, 50 people right now. Like, so, so there are some, yeah, some yeah, girls who like, like actually ask for that. So then there's oh, no so natural progression. I thought gangbang is the right? worst one. As in, like, I mean, I would think it it's can the be most, quite daunting. Yeah. You 
know? I think it's really tiring. It looks really tiring. You have to do so many things at the same time. You have to multitask. It's like really busy. Yeah, you're getting really busy. You have to like touch one, then hold another one. You have to still moan. Like your limbs are like being used at the same time. So for you, did it come pretty naturally in the sense that, okay, we started with a man, woman scene and then maybe three projects down the line, it's like, okay, now there's two men, uh, now there's a woman. Yeah, so I think they always start off with like boy girl, just yeah. one-on-one. Um, but actually for my first ever production, there were three guys and two girls. Oh, so, so you were the one at the okay. audition. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't, I, did, I don't know why they give, gave that to me, but I felt like they probably thought I could handle it. Mm-mm, so okay. oh. for, for my end. first production, there was like a ton of people. So I was like, whoa, this is, oh. is this normal? And then for my later productions, then I realized the first production I was in was kind of like a big production. Right. Yeah, so I was like, how come for this production, there's not as many people on set? There's no like yeah. lighting crew. There's no, right. there's no like mic crew. <laughs> where's where's crosses? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, where, where, I actually joined from like a cold email. So like <laughs> literally just somebody messaged me on Instagram be like, okay, like nude modeling or like a uh, porn actress, like all oh, of this. And then um, and I'm just like, I'm, but it was something I had been thinking about yeah, yeah, for a yeah. while. So I responded to the message and that's like how I got into the industry. I didn't even know the person who like introduced so me. So it could have been like a scam. Or it like could have been a scam. <laughs> oh my God. But I was just like, I'll go and I'll see what they have to say. And I went to like the studio and they introduced me to like the manager and like yeah, right. the, the staff. And it was like in a really like official looking office building. And I was like, oh. this is literally an office building. <laughs> it's not even like, a studio, it's an office building. Right, so, right. and they were like, okay, uh, we didn't, we don't have any female assistants today. So I can't like audition you personally. Cause we don't do that. Like Ooh, you have to have, you have wow. to have like right. a female staff present to do the interview or take the pictures. Like mm-hmm. the guy can't just be taking mm-hmm. pictures mm-hmm. of you mm-hmm. on his phone. Oh. Okay. So it's all very, they have a lot of like guidelines and rules that make me feel more safe. safe and, and this was in this. Taiwan. Yeah. I remember that morning I went to do yoga because I wanted mm. to be like <laughs> extra flexible, flexible, flexible you know? for the warm up. <laughs> <laughs> but I was obviously really, really nervous before my first scene because I had not ever been on set. I had not met any of these people except the person who interviewed me. Wow. Um, so <laughs> uh, I just wanted to make sure I was looking my best and also feeling comfortable. But of course I was like really tense and really nervous. Mm. And then first, I think I got there at like 9 a.m. And then we did hair and makeup. So the guys will come a little bit later cause they don't have to do hair and makeup. So I think they came <laughs> oh, like right. 11. And then I was like looking at the three guys. So I was like, okay, which one is mine? <laughs> oh. um, so cause, oh, yeah, cause yeah, in yeah. the script there's like one, I, I still oh, did like one on one. And then yeah. the oh, other right. girl did two on one. At the same time, so it's like yeah. So right. it looks like three. Oh. <laughs> right. um, but actually, it's, it's separate. So I was like, okay, which one is mine? Mm. <laughs> um, and then I was asking like one of the uh, assistants, like, okay, so who's mm. he? Uh, who's he? And who's mm. he? And he's like, oh, he'll he'll be yours. And then, ah. and then I'm like, oh, okay, okay. And then the director asks the guy because they all know I'm new, really new. Mm. So the director asks the guy to come like talk to me uh, about what we're gonna do with the scene, just like introduce himself to make me feel more at ease. Yeah, so it's right. not like a total stranger. Mm. Um, so I felt a little bit better. And then, so we did all of the, I guess like the regular scene, like the regular acting. And then we did the sex scene last. For the sex scene, it took really long. One of the guys from the other group oh, couldn't get hard. Oh, um, So we were like the second set. So they filmed them first. We were waiting until like 12 midnight. For me, the more directors I worked mm. with, the more they get inspired by me as a as like a, an actor. Okay. So then they think of roles that oh. would fit me. Oh, they put right. elements of you in the yeah. character. Okay. Yeah, so awesome. I think as you gain more experience in the industry, you get to work with more people, more script writers, or more directors and then they come up uh, with productions for you. On the topic of trying out different roles, mm-hmm. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. like based on my viewing experience, porn mm-hmm. can happen in all kinds of locations. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> and so like, what's the most memorable location you've shot a scene in? Nice. An abandoned factory. (laughs) Oh. Yeah, so we shot this like scene for Labor Day. And (laughs) and we have to, we have to like, I was the daughter of this factory owner and then they owed like the workers wages. So so they had to like, 
like, you know, get their payment by some other oh, way, no. like body pay, you know? Oh. So, um, so we had to shoot that scene in an abandoned factory. So it was like an right. actual factory. There were other factories around like, chopping up wood and oh all that. Oh operational yeah. factory. Uh, okay. uh, other operational. So that space, there was no like air conditioning. There were no oh bathrooms. My God. They put like, they had to make it super dirty because um, they wanted, it was supposed to be sort of like the dormitory for the workers. Okay. So it was supposed to be like dirty and dark. And, Grimy. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. And oh, no. and so that was the look that the director was going for. So that was very mem- memorable for me. It was like really <laughs> tough. And I was also on my period on that day. Oh, like, so like what? I felt like I felt dirty already. But they was like they were like, it's fine. They wanna make you dirty and that's what they want. I see like, they okay. wanna see the blood. No, no, no. Oh. But like, I just like didn't Feel, feel super yeah. fresh oh. at, the, at the time. Cause usually on set, there are bathrooms where you can like shower and things oh. like, like that before. Oh, but when right? the yeah. blood flew out, yeah. like day what? No, so we, <laughs> uh, I think it was day two. Oh, so the day oh. before. Oh, actually, the worst day. day. Okay. Yeah, I, I did a scene the day before that day. And it was like a massacre on the bed. It was like really bad. I don't know. Like I saw the final cut and there was no blood. Oh, and CGI. I was, like, I was like, how did they do that? I, did they just like avoid it? Or I, I don't know how they cut it. Right. But I saw the final product. There was no blood. Oh. I was like, what? I was there that day. It was definitely a shark attack. <laughs> yeah. I was there. So the second day I had this like, there's this um sponge that you can use. <gasps> you put it's it inside. Kind of, yeah, it's kind of like oh. a tampon, but okay. it's a sponge and there's no like, it's- Straight it's shaped like a little heart. It's right. really cute. And then you like <laughs> stuff it in. But how do you think it, you just, you have to go in oh with God. your <laughs> You have to, like, there's no other way. Our period is not a factor in like, when it comes to scheduling and everything. It depends life. on like, so some actresses, they would not schedule projects mm-hmm. on their period. But for me, if I have a sponge, it's fine. Like I'll do oh. it. So it's a sponge. Yeah. So it depends on whether you're comfortable with it or not. And usually I will let the other guy know cause they'll like, sponge, they'll right. feel something. They'll oh. feel like they're hitting <laughs> against something. <laughs> oh, no, what, if goes, like, what if the guy's dick is, it long yeah, yeah that's happened yeah. to me like a ton of times. Oh, no. You literally have to go in with your hand. Like a vagina is bigger than you think. <laughs> <laughs> it's very straight, like, malleable, you know, know? like, yeah. Yeah, I have like really tiny hands. Like oh, my, finger, my fingers are like really short. <laughs> so there have been, oh, you so do. actually I, I've been able to take it out myself every time. Yeah. Eventually, mm. it Eventually, takes a while. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But like I have to like dig around a little oh, bit. No. But um, I've, has seen cases where the girls cannot take it out themselves oh and they have to either go to a gynecologist oh. or the guy has to do it for them if oh. they have like bigger hands. Right. Can do oh. It. oh, yeah. Do you have any memorable fan interaction? Like people who recognize you? Oh, I've been to this exhibition before. It's like the adult expo in mm, Taiwan. Yeah. And we do like these interactive um, You have sessions. a booth and stuff. Yeah, we have a oh, booth. Yeah. Um, so there was this fan, like he's like, I think 80 years old. Oh. And before he came into the booth, the assistant came and I was like, okay, this next person, he's like 80 years old. So like, don't get him too excited because- <laughs> We don't want anyone to We don't want any, yeah. Cause like people yeah. have died like at the expo before, like old, right. old I can imagine, people. Yeah. <laughs> like dying. They ha- people have died who have gone, been sent to hospital. Like, cause cause they're, they're, they're so excited. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's, just like, it's like, so be real careful. And I wasn't sure whether he was joking or not. He's like, I'm being no. super serious. And I was like, okay, I don't even know how to stop him from being excited. Like, what do I, what do I do? Like, to don't not- touch him. Yeah. 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 So like, he came in and he was like, can I please lick your feet? No. And then I was like, it was part of my styling that day. I was like uh, tied up in a rope. So I was like okay. so completely naked except for the rope. Right. So I had, was wearing no shoes all day. So my feet were like really dirty. And, I was, like, and he was like, he was like, can I please lick your feet? And then I was like, no. I'm not allowed not, to make you excited. Not, I, like, I was like, I was like, but my feet are really dry. He's like, it's okay. I really want to like eat your feet. And I was like, please don't. Oh my like, oh. God. It was really memorable for his, first of all, the feet thing, but also like, he's really old. He was like 80 years old. He walked in by himself? Like he wasn't on the I mean, chair. No, like no, he, he just, walked in by himself. Wow. wow. And I was He's like, oh my gosh. And then I went outside and I saw all his friends were all like 80 years old. Oh my God, they like come together. Get really good. Get really good. I was like, oh my God. He 
like, pushes then just very in. I was like, I can't, I can't believe you guys like hang out. Yeah. <laughs> so that's like what you do. I thought you guys like go to the park or something. <laughs> that's later. later. <laughs> like, I think a lot of people have joked about how like the the acting in porn is bad, especially at the at the opening scenes. Mm. Yeah. What is your take on or, that segment of 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 the oh, of the films? Um, those are the I would say the most difficult ones to film. So it depends on <laughs> like the yeah, it's harder than the sex. <laughs> the sex is the easiest part. <laughs> so like the ones with the lines are are the mo most difficult because it's not just you memorizing lines; it's also like your partner, right? So mm. if your partner keeps forgetting their lines, then you have to like do a lot of retakes. But also depends on what the director wants. Sometimes the director will ask you to make it awkward, to like oh, make it be bad. really awkward, to make it really bad. If they think- Intentionally Yeah, intentionally. Like movie, you know? It's part of like, the genre. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, 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 like intentionally, don't make it too natural. Be like super awkward, like fidget or like, like freeze and don't say your lines too fast. Don't say it too naturally. So sometimes like if I just say it too conversationally, the director would be like, uh, put more pauses in between. Like you don't know what you're saying. I'm like, oh, oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, so sometimes intentionally, especially if it's a seasoned actor who's done this type of opening like a million times, yeah. there's no way they're that awkward. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's actually scripted That's to make it awkward. And something that just help me answer this <laughs> sure. like a question I've had for years. Of for, years? Yeah. Yeah. for years? So, How many years? <laughs> 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 well. <laughs> How do female adult actresses mitigate the risk of cream pies? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. Thank so you. a lot of people, they would either count the days of their mm, cycle. Yeah. So if they're like in the, like the safe zone, then they can do cream pies or um, they do contraceptives or there's like just like really, really simple method of um, like after the, the pill. Like after, after morning pills after and all morning that kind of stuff. I see. So okay. there's no added precautions because those all sound like pretty like, you know. Like, if it's yeah. a real cream pie, then. Uh, what, what, a real what's a cream, cream pie? pie? Oh, you know fake cream pies where they inject like fake semen. Don't do this oh. They inject oh. fake semen. Oh. Yeah. How's it made? Yeah, what is it fake it's, semen It's made actually out? like lube. So but it's like, lube like that's a little bit like milky uh, colored and right, they'll like add right. some water to it to make it the right consistency. Oh. And then they'll put it in a syringe and like inject it. <laughs> And I've done this like a lot. Of and time. this is used oh, no. when <laughs> this is used right. when you have to do multiple cream pies in a day. So uh, the guy there is obviously like a limit to how many times they can come <laughs> in, in, that volume. In, in that period of time. <laughs> right. So if they're required to do like scenes where you're continuously cream pieing, that's obviously not physically oh. right. achievable. But how does it work? So so the Insert the syringe. Yeah, so they'll you'll like will cut be right before the cum shot, okay. and then they'll like pull out, and then they insert it, uh -huh. and then they put, put it, it back, back in, in okay. and then they do like the pull. Out. I can see. Oh, it, so, I can see. So it. after the syringe goes in, then he must faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Insert. But a lot of times it'll come out right away. So we'll do like a fake pulling out action. Ah, uh, uh, okay, so okay, yeah. okay, okay. Must you do anything? Okay. Like must you like. Squeeze here. I do squeeze oh. it. So, so it depends on the position I'm in. So sometimes uh. if I'm in like a downward position, I have to like squeeze to hold. Oh. Plus you must act like orgasm. Yeah, so, oh, yeah, so yeah. sometimes I squeeze to hold, sometimes I squeeze to release. Oh. So like, it depends. They, they don't want control. like a slow release, yeah. but it's really tough because I can't actually see it. Mm. Cause like, uh. I don't, I can't see yeah, it yeah, what yeah. the camera is. So given that you're, you're using those body parts a lot, right? Is there like, physiotherapy or like <laughs> exercises and stuff like that that you particularly need to do? I don't actually think we use it more than like a regular person who loves to have sex. Mm. Right, Cause right, like, right. like if like there's a girl who like has sex every day more. But for but hours, but you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I guess like for hygiene, there's definitely, okay. there's like douches and things like that, that I, I personally use to like mm. keep myself mm. feeling fresh all the yeah. time. Mm. Um, but there are not, particular exercise we do. I think like the work itself is exercise enough. <laughs> oh, but do you have to like, yeah. you know, go to Pilates or like, you know, kind of you must do the, the split because like maybe the scene, right? You oh. need to like- Whoa. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like flexibility is really oh. important because sometimes, not just for the girls, for the guys too. Because oh. sometimes like the director will be like, can your leg be over here this while your head is over here, yeah. while your butt is over here? I'm just right. like, do you know how a body works? <laughs> like my leg, can, my foot cannot be over here well, my head oh, is over. No. It doesn't. My right. foot and my head cannot be in the same place, right? <laughs> so um, that's that. But also for guys, a lot of the times 
they do like POV style mm. shoots. Oh. So the camera will be right in front of the guy and they right. have to like keep going while their body is like out, down. Oh, oh, oh all the way also behind. they have to hold something and yeah. then like the camera is- Yeah, like, or also, they're oh, not filming it the camera, themselves. Right? Wait, is he holding not, the camera? No, I thought no. it's like a headband. No, like GoPro. POV, most of the time it's not. Oh. They're not filming it themselves because the camera is really heavy. Oh. Nowadays, there are like real okay. live interactive games. Right. Um, and then the, for those, they will wear like a GoPro. Okay, okay. Like a rig. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. for most like films, the cameraman is literally on their backs. And and like <laughs> filming in, right in front of them. Oh like my god! Yeah, and it was really funny. One time, the cameraman's like, "I feel like I need to go take a shower for this." <laughs> yeah, because the the two guys are literally like sandwiched together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's feeling the yeah. So yeah. so for the guy, it's really tough because you have a man on like on your shoulders. And he's got to maintain an erection. And he has oh to maintain an erection. And he's like holding the camera oh, right in front. Of it. Yeah, it's yeah. really tough. I always just really thought it was like DJI Osmo now is like, like, yeah, yeah, like holding so a camera. Yeah, you know, like GoPro. Like, like, from what I've read, you actually were in the financial industry mm -hmm. at first, oh. and then um, you you moved into education, so into teaching, mm -hmm. or while doing this as well. Like, yeah. is that right? So there's an overlap now. You're both an adult film actress and a teacher. Yes, oh. at the same time. And oh. and does <laughs> those two things not like conflict in any way? Like like, do you have students or parents of students who feel- like I don't get to see the parents at all. I only meet with the students, but so far nobody has ever mentioned anything to me. I am a hundred percent sure some of my coworkers know. Yeah. Oh. Like they've they've seen me before, but <laughs> like nobody, nobody has said anything. Okay. Like nobody has looked at me differently or said anything. Just, it, it's as if I have like two lives. Jekyll and Hyde. Yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. as if I have two lives. lives. Okay, but what was the reason that you left the financial industry and clearly, if you were in finance, that mm -hmm. there wasn't it wasn't for the money essentially because I'm I'm sure in finance you yeah were doing well. yeah so finance I I think I just don't like finance that much <laughs> okay. honestly like and I, I did feel. finance because um, most of my friends like did finance in I college see. and that okay. was like kind of the crowd I was with and I was like oh investment banking yeah like like let's yeah, all yeah. go into mm. investment banking after graduation so yeah I, I did uh, work at an investment bank for a while and wow. then I switched to a hedge fund because <laughs> I was like I can't I can't do this I can't be on the sell side I cannot like I hate it so much mm -hmm. I don't like having clients and then um, okay. I went to the buy side where I was somebody else's client mm. and I was like okay I'm sure it's the problem with this market I don't like <laughs> Because <laughs> I tried all the possible finance jobs and if it's finance related, I'm just like, I have no interest in it. I just have yeah. zero interest. Because some of my friends, they love going to like happy hour and talk about the market like after it closes. I'm just like, dude, the market is closed. Let's go home. <laughs> so so I, don't, I don't have that level of passion for mm. finance. I like it. I don't love it. And I think you do have to love it to a certain level to do it for a long time. And from what I read, you teach English and you tutor economics. Is that right? Now I only do economics. I don't teach English. I started off teaching English because that was sort of an, I guess like a time killer for me because I like quit <laughs> sure. the I quit the finance industry without like a backup plan right, like what I'm going to do next. Right. So mm. I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna do something for this period of time. Mm. Why don't I just try teaching English? And then I realized I loved teaching, so um, I kept teaching English, and then I transitioned to economics because more of a niche mm. um, area. Yeah. There are lots of English teachers, not as many economics mm. teachers. Plus, so. your background in finance. Yeah, exactly. Right. When you first became an adult film actress, what were your friends? And and family's reactions to it? So I told my parents first, of course they were super concerned about like my safety. Mm -hmm. They were worried, oh, they were worried that I owed money to people and that's why I needed to like do this job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They were worried like, like, do you need money or are you in some sort of financial trouble? Is that why you're doing this? I'm mm. just like, no, no, no. I just want to like, this is for my self development and self growth and exploration. <laughs> so, mm. so the, and then I told, them, I told them, I'm going to still keep my job as a teacher. Like mm. I'm not going to give up a side hustle. all of my yeah other career yeah. um, beforehand for this. So this is more of like a hobby for me. Um, <laughs> yeah, once they realize I've thought it through, then they're not that worried anymore. But of course I told them like, um, I would keep my family and friends super private and I would try to like limit their impact. Uh, uh, so my impact on their lives. Did you receive any form of like backlash or criticism from loved one or friends? Um, no. Okay. I have not. I, have not. I think the way I sort of planned my debut, I guess, <laughs> oh, is, that's why it's is, called, right? is uh, 
is a pretty, like I was pretty rational about it and mm. it was pretty well thought out. Okay. So like I told my family and friends and like I wasn't trying to hide it. I think people who try to hide it have a bigger backlash yeah. because they they want to hide it. And then- There's uh, a finding out process. Yeah, the finding mm. out is yeah. more of a negative than you being forthright. Okay, forthright so you, with, yeah, you were upfront yeah, yeah, so and has it get. kind of, you know, hindered in any way your personal love life in a sense? Mm. Like, it happened actually. So I think it's clearer to me now, like when when men try to approach me with like, okay, I think you're like really sexy for your body, or um, because they're interested in relationship. But I think girls get this on a day to day basis anyway. Like if you're not right. even if you're not in the industry, you don't know if a guy is approaching you because they just want to have sex with you, right. or mm. they're actually interested in you as a person. Right? It's really hard for most women to tell. Mm. But I think actually now I'm in the industry, it's easier for me to tell because guys will feel like they can be more upfront about their intentions because mm. they think I'm okay with it. Right. So if they're so guys are more upfront with their intentions because of my job, that way it's easier for me to tell what okay. they actually want. So the are more guys interested in just this physical stuff or are more guys interested in a relationship? I think it's actually half and half. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Because once guys have seen like my naked body on the internet, a lot of them actually like, what what is she like as a person? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's not like it's not like I'm trying to get to know you before I see your body. It's like I've already yeah, yeah. seen your body, but now what are you like? Yeah. Yeah. So okay. so it's actually actually it makes it a lot easier for me because it's not like some guys are trying to you know trick me into thinking they want a relationship before they can get my body. So it's like okay, yeah, you've already crazy. seen it oh on the internet. So wow. yeah. so like if you're still okay. interested in me as a person, then. Sure, go for it. Okay. 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 Have you only mainly done Taiwanese film productions or have you also done like Western ones as well? Um, I've worked in the UK before. So I've worked with like uh, British uh, male co-stars. And were there like massive differences in the way that they, <laughs> they film? <laughs> <or> like, <laughs> <differences>? yeah, <laughs> pretty big differences. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> where are we going? Oh, that's that's true. true. <laughs> oh, I did a production where I had to speak Chinese to them and they speak English back. Oh, okay. So we did like okay. filmed it two times with me speaking English one time. So they know when to like hmm. say something back. Yeah. Um, and then <laughs> one time where I had to like speak Chinese to them and then they had to sort of just like guess what is their like point of interjection. Oh. It was interesting. Um, so the productions are different, but also like for, I think the biggest difference like for Western productions or like British, European, American productions, mm. they don't use condoms at all. Oh. But in Asia huh. we do. Ah. Okay. Oh. So the standard is to use condoms. If you want to not use condoms, then it's extra. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But I'm and guessing then the the testing also is is rigorous. Yeah. And like and so like mo most of the time it's the standard. I think it's like four, um, four items you have to get tested for in your STD test. But if it's uh, no condoms, then it's thirteen items. Oh, mm. yeah. and how often are these, yeah. these tests? So most companies will require it once every month, mm -mm. at least once every month. But okay. if it's like a condomless scene, then it's Just two weeks it beforehand. Oh, okay. mm. You yeah. have to get tested. Okay. Mm. I guess with you doing this for almost two years already, over two years, what is your end goal? I think goals are changeable over time. I never started off with like an end goal of, okay, once I achieve this, I'm going to stop. So uh, my current goal is to break into the US market okay. as well mm. as the, so the English speaking market. Mm -mm -mm. So I don't want to just stay in like a Mandarin mm. speaking market anymore. Right. So so Japan or the US, the US yeah. or Europe. Uh, okay. So I've done a couple productions that will be um, in put into the Jap Japanese market, which mm. I'm really excited about. And then I would like my dream right now would be to go to AVN mm. in Las Vegas. Uh, yeah. Okay. <gasps> Adult yeah. video, video net. I actually don't know what it's called. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so so how do you charge? Like for example, for influencers, they have like, okay, one Instagram story. Oh, like one, oh, one yeah, yeah, yeah. So right. There's usually like for one boy girl scene, the basic fee is okay. this. And then mm. if you add one more guy, it's like add 20% or like oh, whatever. Oh, or if okay. you, it's usually, it's not extra charge if you add more girls or if it's cream pie, then you add mm. uh, oh. this 50% or whatever. Therefore, yeah, yeah. a gangbang 
more more money. money. 2020, 2020, oh, 2020, that's why some girls want yeah. to stream gangbang, is it? Uh, I don't know if that's why, <laughs> but they, they definitely get yeah. paid more if it's like, right. or if it's like BDSM or they use like yeah. toys yeah. or whatever, if it's anal, like- The more extreme the scene is. So yeah, what's the, the cheapest extreme. and what's the most expensive? <laughs> the cheapest is just straight up boy girl. Okay. Or sometimes girl girl is, is cheaper. Right, right. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. So and the most you, expensive? <laughs> Probably the world. <laughs> gangbang well, BDSM. The more BDSM. people, the more gangbang expensive. No, okay, if it's not people, if it's like the act. Oh, yeah. probably anal is like mm. the most. Is the most expensive. Anal or BDSM, more expensive. Okay, like right. if you have to like get whipped or. Because you've been doing, you know, like yeah. yeah. Why haven't you tried um, anal? You mentioned just now. Uh, no one's pitched it to me. Oh. Yeah. No <laughs> After this, so you're ready. Like, you're ready. You're ready for it. I have asked for, the... for it oh. and no one's pitched it for me. So oh. it's just like. Is there any change you'd like to see in the, in the industry? Yes. So actually right now, Taiwanese, adult film actresses are the highest paid actresses in the world. Wow. Whoa. Taiwanese actresses. Okay. And interestingly, I actually don't think it's a good thing. Oh, because oh, that's not gonna be a popular <laughs> mandate. <laughs> because I I know economics. So I know demand is low right now. Mm. And if, and supply is staying right where it is. So um, right now what people are experiencing is a, is a pay cut. So a lot of people have seen reductions in their rates and it's really uncomfortable. So I think Taiwan, uh, in the Taiwanese industry is going through a period of change and growth, but actually we're going towards equilibrium. We're going towards market equilibrium. Right, so it's a so, correction. That's yeah, it's a correction, <laughs> okay. period of correction. Damn. So it's really uncomfortable for a lot of production teams, for a lot of actresses, they're mm. losing jobs. Um, but actually it's allowing more people to enter the industry. It's allowing the industry to become more competitive. And I think it's a good thing, but we will see a, a huge reduction in our fees, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But if we want to become a well-developed market like the US or like the Japan or the Japan, like Japan, <laughs> then we can, we have to be okay with this. The S curve needs to, needs to be adjusted. <laughs> the supply that. curve can stay where it is, but the <laughs> if you Jesus. want the demand curve to be, you know, uh, well developed, then you have to be willing to take a pay cut. I would like to see uh, the Taiwanese market survive this period of change mm, because yeah. a lot of companies are going under right now because okay. they cannot uh, stand the drop in demand. It's unsustainable almost. Yeah, because yeah. there was like a bubble the and then pop, now the yeah. bubbles burst. Yeah. I mean, for those who don't know, like when actually did the Taiwan porn industry like start? I think 2020 oh, is shit. when- it's four years old. It's, it's like, it's really oh. young. So like, uh, like, there are other companies who move from countries like Thailand or from China, right. and then they move into Taiwan because it's not legal to shoot in certain countries. So they come to they come to Taiwan, and mm. of course, then you need Taiwanese mm. actors and actresses. Mm. So at first, they were so short on manpower that they were giving out money okay. to oh. attract. Right, that's why the attract, rates were so high. Yeah, that's why the right. rates were really really high. But now, actually, more and more people know about the industry. More people are interested in joining. Yeah, um, and you. Can actually get higher quality mm. actresses uh, who show up on time and who don't like disappear for <laughs> no, no reason, who are oh, not yeah. like <laughs> a little bit insane. So, <laughs> <laughs> more like, like you know who you are with higher work ethic. Yeah. So I think um, this period of change will allow the ones with higher work ethic to stay in the mm. market, and the ones who insist on high rates without delivering the results will be will have to exit the market. Yeah, it literally it prunes, yeah. but it, it's better for the yeah. long run. Speaking of which, so um, you're in Singapore. <laughs> what what brings you to Singapore? I mentioned that a lot of my content is on Swag, mm. and Swag is actually looking to hire male actors from Singapore and Malaysia, oh. and we will be holding <laughs> auditions next month. Whoa! Yeah, okay. so I'm here scoping out the landscape before. <gasps> you are a talent scout audition. for male Whoa. adult performers. Yes. So it? what do you look out for? What do we look for in male performer? Yeah. yeah. Stamina. <laughs> <laughs> you can apply and you'll find out. That's size matter. Does hmm? size matter in this audition? Uh, in the audition, yes, I think size does matter. What's so the for minimum? the job, for the job, I think like the big, obviously the bigger, the better it looks on the screen. <laughs> mm, okay. So, um, but I think what's important is that you have to be confident about yeah. your abilities. Mm. So that's the main thing we're looking for. We're looking for somebody who's on camera, right? Mm. So you have to be okay with right. obviously your appearance. Mm. Yeah. Um, and then your performance will 
be judged at the audition. Um, but yeah, applications are now open. Like over 300 people have applied. <gasps> wow. And we have like some of the top uh, OnlyFans creators, male OnlyFans creator and um, and some TikTokers as well. So there's a wide variety <laughs> of interests. Ah. What, 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 what will the audition yeah, entail? <laughs> Uh, you have to apply <laughs> for me to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> you can just enter every game. Don't you, should, you should apply. You should apply. I'll see you there. Uh, <laughs> if I can connect the dots, I think I'm like. Uh, my wife will Okay, me. like, say, say when's a good time to stop. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Oh. Good. Whoa! <laughs> Uh, good for me or good for the audition? <laughs> good for the audition, okay? No, what, what's the minimum length here? Okay. We didn't set like a hard, <laughs> hard line minimum. There's no hard line minimum. There's no hard line minimum. There's no hard line minimum. No hard line minimum. Oh, I think yeah. the stamina is more important to be honest. Yeah. Sure, you could have a small minimum, but if you're super confident and you sell it well and you're yeah, not that shy could be your about niche, it, you, know? you will still lose, but at least you had the confidence to yeah. Yeah. So do it. Wait, it's legal be to be a, to, for Singaporeans to be uh, in the adult film industry? I guess I mean, if it you depends do it where you film it and where you go. Wasn't there a guy that like got went to jail or something for- No, that's for for producing no, content that, that's in Singapore. On only fans. Right. Oh, okay, like okay. So you cannot like produce it here. Yeah, he did it after he was warned not to. Yeah. I see, I see, I he see. He continued to do mm. it. Mm. Oh wait, so you'll be here for a month? No, so I'll, I'm <laughs> gonna leave and come, come back. back oh, okay. the, that's how aeroplanes work, Jared. Actually, <laughs> 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 I can afford a place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're not that far. From yeah. okay. You should apply and come to Taiwan for the holiday. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'll fly you to Taiwan. Oh. Oh. Are male porn actors way better at sex than everyday guys? Civilians. <laughs> Civilians. <laughs> not necessarily just last longer, they can come like on demand. Oh. 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 oh I didn't say this in the, in the recording. <laughs> we're still rolling. On oh, demand. we're still rolling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They can come on demand. How? Like as soon as the director, I don't know. Do like yeah. the director does this and then- Like the director does this means come in like 10 seconds. Oh, oh. they have 10 seconds to speed up the- he's Yeah. Like, means he's so been like, holding it in the entire I've, time. I had, the actors I work with regularly, they're, they're able to do that. I don't know That's how, insane. but they can like, they can be, they'll just like, I'll see them like close their eyes sometimes. Yeah, yeah. And then, Whoa, and like, like, oh. yeah. If the sex on set is so sterile, then, is there a lot of lube being used for the woman because they're not wet down there the themselves, real right? Question. So I can get wet on command. Wow. Just like, <laughs> just, another so just, like, just like just like the, how the guy can like uh, come. <laughs> so you come close your eyes. Yeah. Well, yeah. some girls some girls can do this, but if not, there's always like a ton of lube. Yeah, right. right. I mean, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. But for okay. you, you don't need the lube. Um, I will. It depends on what we're doing. Mm. Uh, if it's like a slow entry, then sure, I okay. don't need a loop. But if it's like fast and sudden, I'm like uh. just on the safe side. <laughs> 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 so.